Kaput. Their stoneware baker. This is a two and three quarter quart baker. Come in here, Chef Nate. Let's just get right off to the races, young man. This is phenomenal. It's a two and three quarter quart baker. This is Chef Nate Collier. Hey, everyone. All the way from Charleston, South Carolina. That's right. Just recently had a chance to visit there. That's right. And wonderful to visit oh, you and the other, uh, the other folks at, at La Crusade's U.S. headquarters. And this is so exciting. Two and three quarter quarts is the capacity of this stoneware baker, but there's also this platter lid, yes? You got it, so it is fully functional, David, as a lid locks in just like all of our other stoneware. Mm -hmm. Baker has all of the same functionality as all of our stoneware product, the same enamel glaze, and this works just as well as all of our platters that we've sold quite a few of on QVC as oh, well. well you and I have sold a lot of this. As together. a lid and as a platter, so you can use it so many different ways. I love multifunction. Summer is definitely here. I oh. just got back from a lovely vacation with my family, and you know what else that means? It means entertaining. It means serving. It means potlucks. It means picnics. I love stoneware for that because it can keep hot food hot, and it can keep cold food cold. The only thing this cannot do is go on your stovetop. Anything else, oven, broiler, fridge, microwave, freezer, this can do, and it's the baking dish. In what the is the in oven, oven safe temperature? Uh, I believe it's oven safe up to 400, and you can also broil in this as well. Oh, the wow. only thing you don't want to do, David, is take it right out of the fridge and into a hot oven. Don't want to do something called shock it. Exactly. Right? So our fridges get down to 38 degrees, nice and cold. If you fill this up, which I love to do the night before with a breakfast casserole, yeah. and you want to pop it in the oven and bake it in the morning, let it out to temper to room temperature or put it in your oven while it's preheating so it's more of a gradual than I a always say shock. that. Put it in a cold oven. You got it. And let it come to temperature with the oven. Absolutely that right. That way there's no shock, right? Because if you put it in a cold oven, you set it to 350 or whatever, mm -hmm. as it comes up to temperature, so does the vessel exactly very slowly, right. and so there's no shock. And you can do two things at once with this. With the two pieces, you can cook them together or use the lid separately if you need two different temperatures. There's also a color back that we haven't seen in quite Oh, our brain's known for some color, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the color that I'm talking about is the Caribbean. Look at this Caribbean blue. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, my word. We only have 650 of that Caribbean blue to go around. Behind the Caribbean is the white. This is a color we don't carry that much of. 800 in the white. Now, this is cerise, which is the French word for cherry, the color I collect, 350. Then I've got it for you in artichoke, one of our very popular colors. Love it's that green. A bit newer. It is new for us. A bit newer. Then back here, I've got it for you in meringue, 200 in the meringue, and that's kind of an off white. Little toasty neutral. I love yep. that color. Also then we have it us. in Marseille, named after the southern port city of France, 250. And then finally, I have it in oyster. 250 in the oyster, and you can see the ombre effect happening here where it's lighter in the middle and darker toward the end. That's happening in the firing process, right? Absolutely right. And you get that beautiful color all the way across the lid and all the way across the vessel. Now, David, this, like I said, if you don't mind closing this behind oh, me, gotcha. oven safe. And this vessel fits right in most countertop ovens as well. So if you are doing lots of big cooking this summer and you need to put something, a side dish or a beautiful appetizer dip like this, warm, Bubbly. You can see again the enamel like, glaze. Um, it's not like a um, spinach artichoke. Spin dip, I was going to two words out of my mouth. Pulls right say. away from the side, so <laughs> it's worse. super easy cleanup. Beautiful golden bits on the side, and this will stay warm because of the stoneware. It's so dense, not very many air pockets in it, so not a lot of cracking and crazing, but also holds on to the heat for you mm. for your summertime entertaining. I love this platter if you're making homemade pizza. I sometimes watch YouTube videos of pizza being made. Sometimes. If I can't have it, <laughs> I watch it, right? Love it. And so, yeah, I, we're seeing like, I don't know how you do that. I've licked the screen once or twice. Yeah, <laughs> once or twice. But this is fantastic. You can make homemade pizza pie, which is fantastic. I love this Greek salad. What a great summer dinner. You bake the pizza right on this. You've got this cold in the fridge, so the salad because stays cold. Because stoneware keeps hot, hot and cold cold, And right? you can get that prepped and keep it in your fridge. You can take the lid. Oh, that came out quite fast. The lid with you. Iron Chef Jeffrey Zakarian calls this making it rain. Oh, well, you know what? I love that. We did it on purpose, David. And the platter, <laughs> I meant to show it, is deep enough so you guys can see to be functional. You know, well, we'll, we also we'll, quote you quite a bit when we talk about GBD. The, and Golden Brown Delicious. Golden Brown Delicious. This, this is the man that coined it. Golden Brown Delicious, but we'll turn my mistake into something functional here. You know what? That you was a mistake see, at all. You meant to do that. I did. It's not running off the edge. This platter is deep enough to hold that edge. It's not just one flat sheet. So use it as a sheet pan. Use it for a sheet pan dinner. I love it here. You baked off lasagna. Deep enough for lasagna, David. 
And again, this isn't that large. You saw us pull it out of the countertop oven, but this lasagna could feed eight people, no problem. Easy. And we have the green asparagus on the platter right next to it. So you have dinner with one dish, um, one lid. Let me ask Roro, because you know she's part of Italian. Um, is lasagna one of your specialties? Oh. Not mine, but my mom's. Oh. Your mom? Yeah. Oh, does she make it with like different kind of meats? She and teaches. Yes, she does. She well, ground beef, sometimes some pork. So you know what we do sometimes? Just spinach lasagna. Oh, love that. Um, oh. She does it. And you with know what I have? And in the what summertime, I'm a little bit lighter. Is, that's lovely. Um, yes. Zucchini lasagna. Ooh. In, in in place of the uh, the, the noodle. We've done noodle? that yeah. as well. Do zucchini. Great. And that that's would great. bake perfectly mm -hmm. gently in here, David, and hold just the same shape because even heating all the way through, you're not going to get hot spots and mushy on the bottom oh, or cheese. on the sides. It's going to be beautiful. Nothing wrong with a little extra cheese oh, well, on here. Well, you know, come on. So again, all of these summertime foods can be made from the oven to the table or um, we're going to show that on the screen, actually, if we're going to show all the different uses of this. The baking dish, the platter lid goes on top of that. You can use them together if you're doing the lasagna and you want to use not foil but cover it. Pull the lid off after that to get the nice browning on top. The colorful glaze matches all of our cast iron colors perfectly. So while this is not made in the same factory as our cast iron, it's made to the same exacting quality standards we've had for almost 100 years, and these colors will match perfectly and provide the same protection as our cast iron oh. glaze, always. I mean, you just take a little extra time to make something homemade, and then you've got something delicious. Peppers. And David, and onions and sausage. Grilling, you oftentimes are running back to the kitchen to get something that's clean because you brought your meat to the grill on something else. Right. Bring your mm. raw proteins marinated or just raw like this to the grill on the bottom. You've got an empty lid on the top, and by the magic of TV, we pulled everything off to the top here so you don't have to go back. You're covered with the raw meat while you walk out because the lid acts as a cover, and then you use the platter when you walk out here. I love that for summertime. And you might be psychic, David, but I heard you talking about banana pudding earlier. Uh -huh. Will you walk to that fridge and check what we've got Have in there? Have you cold? some banana pudding? Maybe. Oh. And you made it with, with the cookies. With the Dewey's cookies. How about that? Oh, my word. Feast your eyes, everybody. Doesn't that look? I grew up on banana pudding. I love it. I would sit on the back porch and eat it out of the container. My mother would make it, and she'd come home and catch me. Oh my word, I love it. We, and we, we have a great video online on YouTube. Um, Nana's Nanner Pudding. My mom's, uh, because her grandbabies call her Nanner. Nana. Love that. <laughs> so, not Nanner. And so, um, <laughs> so this is really great. Uh, let's go through colors right quick before we wrap up. This is Caribbean. This is the white. Cerise, most popular. This is Articho. Back here is Meringue. Then I've got Marseille. And then finally the oyster. Well, Chef Nate Collier. David is a great. A pleasure to have great you back, to sir. You. And please tell everyone. Thanks, Admiral everyone. Crusades U.S. headquarters. We say hello. I will. And thank them again for the. I will. Can't wait to see everybody again soon. All right, let's head over because I'm told it's time for some California ice packs. Uh, California innovation ice packs. Yes. No, coolers, 